What's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in. Today we are going to talk about the BFG All-Terrain KO2 tires that I bought for this truck. Before we do anything, let's take you outside, give you a little uh, shot at them, show you what they're all about. So here we are outside with the tire, just to go over a couple notes about them before we talk about them. They are 275-70 R18, 9 inches thick here. Um, when I first got these tires, now I was buying an all-terrain because I didn't want anything too aggressive. I was a little shocked when I saw how aggressive the tread was in these tires and these sidewalls. Because let's not forget, the tire that comes on the TRD Pro and the TRD Off-Road Tundra is an all-terrain tire, the Michelin LTX A2. And those are extremely roadworthy. So I ordered these because I knew they were a little more aggressive, but I didn't know how aggressive. And when you look at them, they look like a mud tire. So I was really worried about how they would be on the road because obviously the truck's going to spend 90% of its life on the road. And just for record, they do stick out a little bit from the fender, maybe about that much. And when I was off-road coming back onto the real road, it was kicking up tires. Or not kicking up tires, it was kicking up rocks onto the body a little bit. You could hear them. And it was kicking rocks up into here. So I know this is an on-road video, just something to note. They do stick out a very little bit. So, if you're into fender flares, this would be a good opportunity to get them. It's nothing like a 12.5 width, which the 12.5s I had on my 09 stuck out really far. And that's not the direction I wanted to go with these tires because I feel like the 12.5s I had were mud tires. They were Toyos. They were sick. They were great at performing off-road. But I did a lot of off-roading back then, but I still obviously did more time on-road, and I didn't want that harsh ride. So I kind of got these again because they were the market leaders in the all-terrain tire category. So we're going to drive around here real quick and I'm going to talk about just how they are on the road, noise and everything. So as you can see, when I first got the tire, um, when they showed up on the truck from Gulp, you know, I got them from TireRack.com. I had them sent directly to the dealership to, so they could be installed there. <clears throat> when the truck first showed up, the two things I thought were, wow, they look great. And the other thing I thought was, oh my goodness, the MPG is going to be terrible. They look like a mud tire. Now, the first KO tires that they had were a lot less aggressive, at least on the sidewall. They carried a fantastic reputation, and that's kind of what I was going off of. Again, because I'm a YouTube guy, I want you guys to see the stuff that everybody's buying, you know, the most popular stuff. Of course, I'll show you the stuff that's not as popular as well, but I'm going to go after the stuff that, you know, everyone seems to be buying the most popular option. So, obviously, the KO2s are that, for the all-terrain category at least. So when I first got in the truck and I was driving around, again, I was expecting it to feel like a mud tire. I think the only thing that makes this tire feel anything like a mud terrain is there's a little bit of road noise, but it's not like my mud terrains. My mud terrains, they were loud. When you had the windows down, that's all you could hear. So like I said, when I first got on the road with these, I was thinking they were gonna be extremely aggressive um, all over the road. We took a highway trip to Pocono. It was a smooth tire, good with the suspension. People ask me this all the time too, just while we're on it. Did I have to remove anything to make them fit? Because they're pretty much 33 inch tires. Don't forget I have the TRD Pro suspension, which gives it like a two inch lift. Um, the only thing I had to remove were those little mini mud flaps in front of the front tires. That's it, that's all I had to remove. Everything else fit no problem. But yeah, on road, no big deal. My MPG right now, let me give you an actual number. The last time I already said it was before leaving Pocono. 14.6 right now. The truck is still very new. 1,343 miles on it. So we're still getting our MPG up. But when I had my mud tires, the MPG was, you know, like nine. So overall on the road, I'm shocked at how good these are. I didn't give up any crazy MPG numbers for a good looking tire. You know, this tire's obviously coming off-road with me, and that's the point that I got tires that were a little more aggressive, especially than the ones that come on TRD Pro and TRD Off-Road now. I wanted a tire that could handle on-road and off-road. <clears throat> haven't obviously haven't dealt with any snow yet, so I'm looking forward to dealing with snow. Actually, I'm not looking forward to dealing with snow, but I look forward to the video of me dealing with snow, seeing how these tires work, because for some reason in snow, these tires with the aggressive tread patterns are not always the best because snow builds up in between the treads and it makes a flat surface which is hard for the tire to grip. 
So we will see what happens then. But so far, dry roads, the tires are fine. Um, I mean, there's a little bump action going on, but don't forget you got a crazy TRD Pro suspension under it, so it's gonna be bumpy. I don't mind giving up a little bit of comfort for performance. I've always been that guy, performance first, but really, I didn't give up that much. And I could hear the hum of the tire. I'm at 45 miles an hour right now. I could hear it a little bit, but there's no radio or anything. But again, it's not bad. If you want an extremely quiet tire and you're not gonna off-road or anything, the tires that come on the 1794 and the Platinum that come off the lot, those are the tires that are very roadworthy. So, you know, look, that's one thing I could tell you all, research. I did so much research on tires. It was almost annoying how much research I did. I would go on one night and be like, all right, tonight I'm coming off, you know, I'm coming off the web. We'll, we'll use that line from Rob. Go check out Rob's channel. He's the rebel owner of Vlogging Adventures with Rob. Um, but yeah, I would go online and I'd be like, I'm not leaving online tonight until I have a tire picked out for this truck. And I would go on and I would spend two hours looking at tires and I would get fed up and I'd get offline. Um, the problem was, is some wheels won't fit some tires and vice versa. I, again, didn't want to get the big 12.5 wide wheels. I just, or excuse me, tires. I didn't want to do that this time. I wanted something that was a good balance with on-road and off-road without giving up too much, which is kind of hard to come by. Oh, right lane closed. Oh, I was getting over in the wrong lane. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to come by that because you're going to give up something somewhere. I mean, I didn't do aggressive off-roading with it or anything, as you guys told me. I know. I didn't do aggressive off-roading with it, but off-road, it was great. It was a lot of soft sand, which is tough to get through without getting stuck sometimes. And it, it did great, they did great. So I'm really impressed with these tires overall. On road, on a one to 10 scale, on road, I'm gonna give them an eight. And I'm only taking the two points away because of a little bit of road noise and they kick up rocks. They kick up rocks a little bit. So like my parents' house is over in Seaside here. <clears throat> Their yard is rocks. That's how it is over on, I don't know if you're, if you're not from around the ocean. All of the properties, instead of grass, they have like gravel. Um, and when I park in their driveway, when I'm leaving, as I'm going down the road, I start to hear the rocks coming out of the tread. But that's with any tire that has an aggressive tread pattern. So it's not just a BF Goodrich thing. But so far, very, very, very happy with them. I don't see myself leaving BF Goodrich for a while, I'll tell you that. I'm pretty happy with these tires. They're not wearing or anything. I know it's low mileage, but you know, I always worry about the wear on the outside of the aggressive sidewall. So all is well, all is good. Giving it an eight on a one to 10. We're gonna do an MPG test soon where I'm not gonna do a highway one. I saved those for the Pocono trips, which one will be coming up soon. I'm gonna do like a low speed city one. You know, a lot of stop and go. Really test this truck and test these tires where there's no speed and we're in the lower gears of the truck. So we'll do that soon, but so far with my normal trips to work, which is very close to home for me, and my trips to run like I'm doing right now, which is like a 15 minute ride, there's been no issues, no problems. So I'm a fan, but you know, I got a long way to go with these tires. We're gonna test the long-term durability. You know, I rotate every oil change, so I rotate every 5,000 miles. I suggest you do the same especially the more aggressive tread you have, the more you want to rotate so you can keep them alive for a long period of time. That's all my uh, ranting today. That's all I got. Not really a rant, but I just kept going. <laughs> but yeah, you guys have a great day. Obviously, if you have any questions, please feel free. Happy to answer them. Twitter and Instagram, touch 234 If you stop into the channel and you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Subscribe. We're doing this every day. I want you to be here. I want you to be part of it. And the giveaways get better as we get more subscribers. So tell your friends. Have a good one, everybody.